Hey guys, how's it going? It is January 20th, it is 5 p.m., the markets are closed, and I have a few trades um, to update you on. Well, first, uh, Riot, I think I, I already mentioned this one. Um, I cut it for about a 50% loss, which is average with options. Um, to me, that's too big, but sometimes when you swing trade, you you take big losses right and yeah so it happened i caught it somewhere around here i'm honestly not too sure um yeah somewhere around there i let go yeah i let go half of it um around here and the other half I let go there. I was hoping f I was I cut half my size here because I thought that the pattern could still work. It didn't. Um, then we had a long long day weekend. We got up, but Bitcoin didn't make the push up that it needed. So Riot didn't really go farther up. So yeah, once this gap up showed me that it was not gonna keep running, I just cut it out and moved on. Um, like I said, 50% loss or so, 40% loss here, about 60% loss here, so on average 50%. And that is okay because it happens. Just trade small so that this doesn't, these things won't hurt you. And whenever you have a pattern that's not, or a play that's not working your way, just cut it and move on, period. Okay, now let's go to more interesting stuff. This one. XPEV is an electric vehicle play and yesterday it did amazingly well it did really well so much so that I thought this is the hourly chart by the way I thought that it could cap up and so I bought it when there was literally 10 seconds left before the market closed 10 seconds left um, I sold it this morning at the market open and I sold it, let's go to the 5 minute, because it's a lot easier to see. Okay. Alright, so I got it, like I said, I got it, uh, yeah, right there. And I sold it this morning at, hold on, 9.30 sharp. So, right there. Now, this spiked up a little bit, and it could have kept going, but... It was already meeting my goals. I closed this for 35.62%, which is my average gain. Um, and yeah, even if it kept sp spiking up, I learned my lesson recently, where, where I was reminded of my lesson recently, where I was capturing my, I want to say, 50%, I think, at, at a, you know, I, I bought at the market closed, I was wanting to sell at the market open, um, got greedy because I, I had 50% floating gain, but I wanted more. There was a big spread between the bid and the ask, so I set my order about halfway through, and I didn't get filled, and also, the brokers started to be quite laggy, so my orders were taking a long time to go through. So, um, yeah, the price went down, and I think I ended up going from 50% to my 30%, right? So I learned my lesson. When you have your goal, take it and don't, don't look back, right? And that's what I did here, and it worked out really well. Then um, it worked out really well because, as you can see, the company just collapsed like 10 minutes later, right? Or it didn't collapse, but it did nothing for the... It collapsed for the day, and then it moved sideways. I don't know if this is the end of electric vehicles, but... Or I mean the trend in the market. But um, yeah, they haven't, they haven't been working too, too well for a day or two. And last, Lemonade, LMND. 
I bought this today looking for a swing trade. I was use, using the hourly chart. I got in here. That's a lie. I got in here at the end of this candle. Okay. Um, admittedly, I should have gone in here. I did jump the gun a little bit. But there was a big big spread bid ask. I set my order at the bid and the price just came down. It filled me in. It happens, right? Now, um, I was hoping that this would go up today. It didn't, but it's okay. I have next week's calls, so there's still plenty of time. And all that I'm looking for, I mean, if this wants to go up and, you know, like, if this wants to go and go up to these levels tomorrow, hey, great, right? It's going to be a very short day for me. But um, what, I'm, what I'm looking at, and this is the daily, this, for the first time in one, two, three, four days, we beat yesterday's high and the low is actually lower. So we have higher lows and higher highs. And we closed right where we opened. Granted, it's not a bullish candle, but I just need a, I just need a quick pop. Even to, even to this point, even to this point, and that should fill me in from, should give me my goals really. Um, so I'm taking an educated guess here. Uh, I don't think I, I'm not saying that I'm rolling the dice. I just say that. Even though this is not a confirmed pattern yet, it looks like it's taking shape. And I really, I'm not here to take advantage of this whole move from this level to this level. But, you know, yeah, it looks like we could retest today's high, maybe two days ago. And yeah, that, that's going to be pretty good for my, uh, for my options, for my calls. And also, one thing that I was that I saw when looking at this uh, at this chart is that this is starting to curve up. And if you notice, here is a okay. So we hit this level, which is all-time highs, and we came back down, crashing to this level. This is a very fast drop, very fast drop in a stock that has performed really well really well since december right december it was like 63 or so it almost hit 200 a few days ago right so there's buyers there's people that want to buy this and where are buyers at support what is this support so yeah i think that from here we go up i think right i could be wrong and if i am i'll, I'll just take my loss and move on that's it and last thing I want to say today, the SPY. The SPY was super bullish up until that day, right? Up until uh, January 8th, the SPY was very bullish, right? It actually set, a, set an all-time high. Then we, we had options expiration week. Right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. From here to here, and the spy did nothing, nothing. In fact, once it threatened to break this level, look at all this um, volume. Now you could also say that this is because people bought it here, right? But anyways, I'm I'm getting sidetracked here. What I wanted to say is that today we set an all-time high again and we broke out of this range which is um, where I thought or where I said that my um, system was not working too well because the spy was undecided right and we needed to well I, I my system can really benefit from the spy pushing it right and right now, the SPY definitely broke out of this level, out of this range. It looks like it's decided. Um, we will possibly retest this level, possibly. But 
if people like this, uh, Biden becoming a president, the stock market being, you know, happy. Yeah, I, I think I don't see why the uptrend shouldn't continue, right? Again, nobody has a crystal ball. There's no guarantees. Nobody can say for certain what's going to happen. But I think that after a quick hiccup, or last week anyway, um, we are going up again. If this is a double, double ceiling, really, hit the ceiling, well, hit the ceiling, triple ceiling, with a little sweep, and we go down from here, that could also be the case. But the way, the way people see the stock market now, there, people tend to be very bullish, right? So I do think that we go up before we go down. Um, in any case, I'm just excited because the SPY is out of this range and that should benefit my system directly. Okay, um, having said that, let me take a quick look at LMND. Um, after hours, yeah. Okay. All right, so after hours, it looks it looks like it wants to go up, but um, I usually pay very little attention to whatever it does after hours. Um, Pre-market is more indicative. After hours is usually like eh, anything, anything can happen, right? Um, okay, so thank you guys for checking out the video. I did post my trades on Twitter, and um, I will see you tomorrow if I trade. All right. Okay. Have a good one. Bye.